What can someone put on their car that makes you know immediately that they're a Dutch bag? Monster energy drink decals or truck nuts? How did I have to scroll this far to find truck nuts? I thought this was going to be like the famous Tom Cruise thread, but with truck nuts instead. Somehow, truck nuts was only in the fourth top level comment. Surprised that truck nuts are this low. Dodge the dad, ram the daughter. On a dodge ram. Good stuff. Similarly, it rather be comment than stroken on a dodge ram with Cummins turbo diesel. Clever and hysterical. Or if you can't dodge em ram em. Thank you for giving me warning to get as far from you on the road as possible. It's not dodge ram anymore, just ram. They branched off into their own brand. I saw an only rams decal the other day which was especially funny because I had recently read another roar as credit thread about what kind of vehicles Dutch bags drive, and Ram was top of the list. Advertising for their mom. It's always consultant. I love how moms have company opted business languages. To me, a consultant is a highly knowledgeable person in a specific field who's paid for their expertise, or at least, that's how it should be. Nobody needs a consultant for shitty candles or essential oils of dubious quality. I remember seeing a whole card decked out, including the phrase, I get paid to wash my hair across the whole back window. I rolls for days. For a second I forgot pyramid schemes exist and I thought you meet they were advertising gay people. But I know someone who's obsessed with Sensi. Decals all over both family vehicles, always using and wearing Scentsy. Logo hats, bags, stickers, ads. She has sold their products for years and supposedly gives all proceeds to her church. A big tap-out sticker. Their shirt says off, but their body says if. Tap-out is still popular. Haha, <laughs> I thought the whole affliction or tap-out ship sailed by 2015. I thought the... the the whole of cell, the flick show. White twenty A guy at me work has a penis shaped piece of metal bolted to the front grill on his Civic. Edit. Sad thing is, I guess the guy who drives it by his appearance. Please post to her or shit garments. Photos, please. In my high school parking lot, people have plastic ball sacks hanging off of their jacks, which would normally hook up a trailer. Can't say I hate them, it just seems funny to me. Locally hated. You. Only because he hasn't gone anywhere else yet. I hate those. Sure, buddy. You're well known enough. Your city of 100 or more to be hated. That's a thing. Whoa, I forgot it was just one stupid idiot. Didn't realize it was a club lol. Nothing says I require exhaustive therapy like publicly taking pride in being an asshole. Lol what? I've never heard that. Hilarious flex. Huge pause that no one likes behind the wheel. I literally just saw this sticker on the back of a beat-up blazer for the first time in my life thought to myself what a dutch we don't hate ya bud we don't even know ya those piss on decals it's a horrible misrepresentation of calvin also i read a story about a gay who had a decal of calvin pissing on a smaller version of the calvin pissing decal that seemed pretty funny to me it say about one or third of the trucks in me town have those Always the shitty raised trucks with mirrors that stick out super far like they were pulling huge trailers, but they've never pulled shit because it's not really about practicality or real need or use. A fake badge on their war and badge on their Mercedes. I've seen people with fake Hellcat badges. Never understood the point because anyone who knows what it means can tell it's fake and anyone who doesn't know what it means isn't going to care. You don't like seeing 300 ams, bro. Oh, so or um 328 is the thing. I did see an 80 series Land Cruiser with a hybrid badge on it. Made me chuckle. 
What about an M badge on album? Those Engel and Devil female silhouettes stickers. Usually seen on the back of a truck with accents down the side. To me it's always seemed like the middle-aged overweight guy driving the truck telling the world sometimes he's a good girl but other times he's a bad girl. I knew Ago. It was especially funny when he ran the heat or Akas the bottom part of the thing would begin flapping back and forth. A thong means something different in Australia, and I still would understand why you would do that. My brother hung his girlfriend's underwear from his mirror. My mom noticed it and proceeded to call him out in front of her. I have never seen someone get that red-faced before. Needless to say they were taken down. Right? Like we know, dude, you got laid once, lol. That's actually illegal in some places. Even the car air fresheners. To be clear, the items aren't, it's the placement. It's... Nothing is allowed to hang there in me state. The shocker hand gesture sticker. I saw a guy that had this sticker on a beat ups of the other day. He also had vegetarian on the back of this piece of shit car. I used to know this guy in college who always did the shocker wrong. Head fold in his pinky instead of his ring finger and then keep his ring finger away from his other two fingers. The weird thing is, had just go up to girls and shiv that hand gesture in their face, thinking he was hitting on them. Not only did they not recognize that as the shocker, most of them had no idea what the hell he was doing. You can probably guess how successful that was for him. What if they were Wichita State fans? Carolina Asquat. Just, just why? I did know what this was and googled it. Man, this is slaughter. It involves lifting a truck's front end and dropping its rear, ostensibly to make it look like a race truck, but only resulting in a vehicle that scoots along like a dog is scratching its butt. North Carolinian here, they actually just passed legislation banning this eyesore. Hopefully they get around to enforcing it too. I googled this and laughed for a solid minute. Holy hell, that shit looks dumb. That sounds like a sex act. I case anyone does not know what the Carolina squat is. Hat. Or, or, duck, duck, go. Come, or, call an asquatat 314. Oni aximagezi amagezi eights three at wolf to a fi. Hate him. Come to off it to finaltizis fivezat with max res default. Chputs. Or, or, duck, duck, go. Come, or. Call an asquatat 314. Quat 300. Eat him. Come to a fit with Fintizus Fibazat with Max Rest Default. Salt Life. But they live in the city or the mountains. My friend who runs a boat in San Diego says those stickers mean they went fishing once and might even go again. They always look like slut life to meet her. Ong um, Salt Life is about the Ocean. I live over 700 from the nearest Ocean. Why did so many people at my high school have this? I see salt life stickers on cars in Syracuse knee all the time. And honestly, in the winter, they were not wrong. But the stickers intent is seen, not road maintenance. I keep seeing ones of in town with one of these, but it's in a horrid cursive font and I keep misreading it as slut life. You would be horrified to know that they are shockingly common in Kentucky, Illinois, Tennessee, and Georgia. I've lived in all these estates, and I see them more now than when I lived in coastal California. Those biggest stickers on their windshield that has their Instagram or name in cursive. Lol, I saw one of those. But it was a dog's Instagram, and the dog was in passenger side waving out the window while wearing sunglasses and some gold chains. 
anything monster or punisher. I used to love the punisher. After that movie in 2004, I got a punisher shirt, but did wear it too much. Now, we really can't wear it. If seen a half American flag, half Confederate punisher with the Trump haircut. It was the dumbest thing that I have ever seen on a vehicle. Before I knew who owned the car, I knew they were probably out. But then I met them, suspicion confirmed. Has now in jail for trying to put a camera in the women's restroom at the local high school where his children attend. Edit. It's worse than I remembered. It was a elementary school. And he was a teacher there. Articlips. Or, 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 Google. Come, or, amp, or, 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 wheel. Come, or, 2022, or, 2, or, 14, or, 5th. Grade. Teacher. Arrested. Placing. Camera. School. Bathroom. Police. Say, or, 3, fout, put a PM. They really had to go and ruin the Punisher logo for me. Ox so easily the worst car sticker I've ever seen was a Gadsden flag no step on Sneck flag faded into an American flag, all in the shape of the Punisher symbol. Can somebody please explain the monster thing to him? I buy the shit by the case. But I would never advertise for them for free. Why? American flag Punisher. Thin blue line stickers get me. You do realize the Punisher was a former cop turned vigilant. Ya yeah, know what, never mind. Edit or correction. In being told by quite a few people that the Punisher was in fact a cop but Marine Recon. My mistake. Never really got into the comic book or graphic novel scene. So maybe in some ways they were not entirely opposed to each other. I still find it humorous that predominantly... The vehicles I see these paired stickers or decals are usually some upper middle class jackass that probably never takes their expensive Kimber tow the gun range and could hit water if they fell out of a boat with it. Let alone be some lawless vigilante taking on the mob or whoever else. Just my humble opinion on the local population in the Midwest where I am. No offense intended to punish your fans out there. A Calvin pissing on rival brand's logo sticker. I once saw a Ford with Calvin pissing on a Chevy sticker pull up next to a Chevy with a Calvin pissing on a Ford sticker at a stoplight. I was hoping to see some drama, but nothing happened. Which also so misses the point of Calvin, who is a troublemaker, but not malicious, except to Susie. To Calvin anything. Bill Watterson famously never licensed the character for anything whatsoever, so anything with Calvin on it is a ripoff. Recently, I saw a truck driving around town that had Calvin pissing on the rear window. Except he was pissing on the words, fuck childhood cancer. There was another sticker on the rear window that I did get a full glimpse at, but sent me the message that their child had died. So the whole back of this truck just advertising their deceased child. I felt sad, but also kind of weird about it. My inside rep from a dozen years ago almost lost his job because her was told he was using the search term Calvin pissing on Ford from his work computer inside the network. I guy work with has a Calvin pissing on an ex. Wife thing on his truck. He says people honk and give him thumbs up constantly. I asked him about it and he said it was on there when he bought the thing. He has been happily married for 25 years. He just giggles when they do it. All Calvin merch is copyright violation. All. The Monster Energy logo, where are they even getting all of them? I see it so often on every Dutch car, usually trucks bigger than they need. The answer is that Monster gives them away like crazy for promotional purposes, anywhere they have a booth, or at parties they sponsor. And then someone is like, well, I have this sticker, could look kind of cool on me car. No one is buying Monster stickers. They're all free. A friend of mine actually had a part. Time gig in college, 
where they literally just gave him a literal fucking pullet of monster, and an obscene amount of swag with the arrangement that he would hust or crash college parties as the monster guy, and just give all of it away as part of a marketing strategy. There is an extremely dutchy picture of me in my early twenties at one of those parties, wearing a monster hat I got from him. It worked. The famous stars and straps family fucking logo, oh me god, I've seen so many fucking druggies with that on their arm, and that one always makes me laugh. My friend's neighbor drives a car with big photos of Alex Jones on it, like an advertisement car wrap. His lawn has like ten infoers signs on it. Is your friend's neighbor just Alex Jones? Sounds like his personality is someone else's personality. Or were infoario rides. Truck nuts. I saw truck nuts on a smart car on time and thought it was the one of the funniest things you've ever seen ill make an exception for that person. Otherwise, you're right. I put these on a buddy's truck without him knowing it. Two weeks before he figured it out. I always want to cut them off and fit the truck with Edge and Con. One of my friends made a bicycle version. It's literally two large hardware nuts, glued to a bicycle chain, hung from the back of the bike saddle. The Dollop podcast did an episode on the origins of truck nuts, and the story is absolutely bonkers. People pull guns on each other trying to commit corporate espionage between rival truck nuts companies. It is fucking wilfs. Or, or all things comedy. Come, or podcasts, or 360. The. Truck. Nuts. War. Live. In. Phoenix. Literally any of those stickers that imply they will ride your ass or break check you for doing anything that annoys them. I once saw a bumper sticker that read, If you can see me back tires then you are a good driver. Thank you. And I could see their back tires. It was nice. If you're going to ride my ass, at least pull my hair. Hente stickers everywhere, or those balls big fake dangling testicles that hang on the back. When I was in college, I literally had a whole hente wrap with multiple nude anime girls on it. Like, bro, how are you not embarrassed to drive that?